In this video, we're going to go over the setup of the RFCI Auto to measure current at 400 milliamps using the ISO standard 11452-4. To calibrate your injection probe, connect the output of the RFCI Auto to a 6 dB attenuator, which is connected to your injection probe inside of your test fixture. Coming out of the test fixture, you have a 10 dB attenuator going back into the input of your RFCI Auto. In the software, I've already gone through and set up that we're doing a current test at 400 milliamps between the frequencies of 1 megahertz and 400 megahertz. And for the interest of time, I have set it for 10% step increase. It is recommended you keep it at 1% for an actual test and calibration. Now we've got to make sure we import our transducer files and also import the level file for the ISO 11452-4 standard. And then you start your test. When you start your test, you can see that the RFCI Auto is adjusting the amperage to get to the level of the test. And you can see that your RF in power is rising as your RF generator level rises. And you see that the target level is being met as it goes through its test. You also notice that the RF generator level begins to drop as the frequency gets higher and that's due to the insertion loss of your current probe. Once your calibration is complete, it is important that you do a linearity check. The linearity check is set for 5.1 dB above the actual calibration. You can see that your RF generator level is starting to pump out 5.1 dB higher than the actual calibration. And you can see that the RF in power is reflecting the 5.1 dB increase. Once the linearity check is complete, if it is passed, you will see a green check mark next to the start button. And this tells you that the calibration has been completed. And then you save your calibration under any name you want. In this case, I named it ISO 11452 4 400 milliamps. Now, to run a test, it's important to remember that you maintain the 6 dB attenuator in your test setup. However, the 10 dB attenuator no longer is necessary. You'll disconnect the test fixture from your HF input and you will connect your monitoring probe up to that for the actual test. To do the actual test, you choose sweep and the software will bring up your testing page. You can see here that the coupling device device that you just created has now been put at the bottom of the list and it is in pink. Pink means that's the test that you are choosing. You can also see that there is an icon there that is in red. That tells you that your parameters in your software do not match your calibration. Therefore, we've got to make sure that we match our calibration precisely. So we're going to select current. We're going to select closed loop. We're going to set this to 400 milliamps, just like in our calibration. And we're going to choose the frequencies of 1 megahertz to 400 megahertz. And we're going to set it up for a 10% step increase, just like in the calibration. 
In the interest of time, we're going to set the dwell time to 0.5 seconds. We are not going to add any modulation to this test. However, you still need to import your transducer file. And you also need to import your ISO 11452-4 level file. And once you have made the settings exactly as you had in your calibration, you will notice there is no icon above here. If there was any mistakes, you would have either yellow or a red computer icon up here in the corner telling you that your settings are not exactly as your calibrations been. Now, once you have got all these tests set up, all these parameters set up, you just push start and you conduct your test.